after you sit there and weave all these together, here's what you're kind of left with. Now what we're going to do next, fold this up. Then we're going to sew and tie these sides together to make the pouch. picture you could make either a really wide one and you could fold it over or how I did was I made three pieces one for the front one for the back and one to sew around the bottom and the sides but for this one we're just making another pouch so all we have to do now is just go through and sew up the sides of this another primitive pouch to go in my primitive kit. right here is a liner I made for it when we come over here here is a belt it's got a pouch here with some natural materials for rope another pouch over here for more natural material ropes and knives and stuff a gourd carrying container and right back here I have my bow carrying kit. Let me come over here. This is uh, 
like a flint mapping slash tool kit right here. It's got the all the tools in it to make uh, arrowheads, knives, uh, shape them and stuff. Here's my knife with a sheath. This is all from a tree bark rope I made. Then I'm working on a small little fishing hobo rail. And again, that's uh, I think dog bane or I'll have to take a picture and send the uh, show you guys the plant and then yes of course a piece of hide too right there but that's my primitive kit so far and then let's not forget in here this is a primitive fire kit 